Hi all and uh, welcome back to this small help video. Today we are going to talk about sound problems and specifically if your speakers are having a static noise or a weird noise to them, then I have brought you some tips and tricks how to solve this yourself. So first of all, the first thing I always recommend you to do is to do a restart or a reboot of your device. So simply just put your iPad in a power off mode and simply slide that one. Your iPad will turn off and within a few seconds, you will be able to turn on your iPad again and the Apple logo will come onto the screen and within a few seconds again, you will be able to log into your iPad again and then you can test and see if that actually just was what was needed to fix this sound issue. After that, my next tip is to have a look at your speakers, the hardware part of your speakers. And in my iPad here, it is at the end of the uh, iPad. There are some speaker holes down here and I have taken a wooden stick and I will start cleaning each of the holes and see if there is any dirt or dust or whatever that could come into these holes in your speaker. Another good thing is to have a hair dryer or something that can blow a lot of air into the holes so you can get rid of all of those small things in the holes and make sure that you get a clean speaker and that can actually do a lot of good things to your iPad sound. So have a look at that, clean your iPad speakers and make sure that it is clean and all good to go. Next thing up is to go into settings. And in here we have a lot of different things you can look at, but the first one is the accessibility. And under here we have the audio and visual. And in here in this section, we have a small setting that you can turn on, which is the mono audio. So just simply press that button and swipe it and turn it on again. So this is always a good idea to try and turn on. Next thing is to have a look at your do not disturb settings. So here in the quick access, you have the focus area. So I can simply turn on and turn on the do not disturb. Make sure that this is turned off so you don't have the disturbance set to be enabled. And another way to come to those settings is go into the focus area and in here you will be able to do a lot of different settings for your do not disturb. And you can set up schedules and all kinds of stuff that could be an issue for your sound. If the do not disturb is turned on, yeah, then your sound will not get through. So have a look at those settings. Next thing up is, of course, to have a look at your settings in general. And uh, I would always recommend if none of these is working, then please do a reset of your settings. So this is in the general uh, section, go into and go down all the way to the transfer or reset iPad. And in here you have at the button, the reset. So you get a lot of different options for resetting. The one we are looking for here is the first one, reset all settings. Just simply press that one and put in your passcode and it will reset all your settings. This is of course very important to be aware that this will also uh, default all the settings for all the different things you have on your iPad, you will need to reconnect to your Wi-Fi and uh, reconnect your Bluetooth headsets and all kinds of stuff. So of course, be aware that these reset of settings will cause you a lot of new configuration things you need to do after this reset, but it can absolutely make sure that your sound gets back and especially the static noise that you sometimes see can also be 
gone after this. One last thing I have for you is to also have a look at if you are using a headset, if you are using a speaker with your iPad, make sure to reconnect those. If it is with Bluetooth, then of course go into your Bluetooth settings in here and uh, make sure to reconnect or if the headset is not really uh, uh, working as expected and you're not able to connect it or something, you can just simply go into the specific device and in here you can say forget this device and then try to reconnect your settings or your headset. So that is a good idea to have a look at as well. That was all I have for you today. I hope some of these tips and tricks can help solve your sound issues. And uh, I hope you really like the tips and tricks. If you did, uh, give me a thumbs up. If you really liked all my videos, give me a subscribe. And if you have any comments or questions, put it in the comments section and I will try to get back to you as fast as possible. That was all for today. See you soon.